A task is an assigned piece of work that must be completed within a certain time, like cleaning out the fridge before everything inside it turns green. But hey, maybe you're going green. In any case, to keep track of all the tasks and manage them, it's down below in the navigation pane. It's the task folder. It's that clipboard with the check mark there, meaning that when you have something to do, as far as the task goes, Hopefully you're marking them complete. You can also mark your progress off as you're moving along. In any case, go ahead and hover over it. You get the pop-up, the hover peak, which up here it says that there's nothing due later. If you click on it and flip it up, anything due today, don't see anything down below either, so hey, we're good. Let's go ahead and click on the folder, click on it again. Now there's more than one way to create a task here. You can either come up here on the Home tab, click on New Task, you get the subject, the start, and due date fields. Let's go ahead and close out. If you're in another folder and you don't want to leave that folder to create a new task, then in that folder, like the contact folder, the calendar, come up here on the Home tab to the New Group, click on New Items, the drop-down arrow, and there you go. You can create a task there. Click Off. You can also right-click in a blank area. There's New Task. Or double-click in a blank area. There's a New Task. Or finally, the shortcut keys that are universal but proprietary to the folder as in, if I want to create a new task in this folder, do Control N as in Nancy, and it creates a new task. If I did it in the Contacts folder, it would create a new contact. So let's come up here and type in a subject, or the name of the task we want to complete. Create Ghost Hunting PowerPoint Presentation. Ooh, that sounds spooky fun. And then down below we have a due date. You don't have to have any dates. You just go ahead and save and close, and that's that. But if you do want a date, you don't have to have a start date. You can say, let's go ahead and say it's due this Saturday, the 17th. You can see up here the information area, due in four days. So you get the countdown. We got four. Then if you're like, yeah, I'd like to add a start date. Maybe you don't know when you're supposed to start. But when you do, or you decide that you better start sooner than later, you can do it the same day, today, or let's do it tomorrow. And then down below, a reminder, go ahead and check the box. And by default, it's going to be the last day that it's due. Well, that's not too helpful. Well, it is because it's earlier in the morning. But by midnight, on Saturday the 17th, if I haven't completed it by then, I'm in trouble. And so maybe I want an earlier reminder than the same day. Well, I'll to go ahead and change it. Click on the date picker. And let's do the 15th. So it starts on the 14th, or when I should be starting, but if for some reason I don't, I get the pop-up in Outlook. Well, that is, again, you have to have Outlook open to get that pop-up. And by then, if I haven't done anything, oh, well, at least I've got Thursday at 8 a.m. to remind me, that is, if, if I got the computer on and I get it at 8 a.m., because if I come in that night and then I open up Outlook, well, because it's past 8 a.m., it'll still pop up, but because I came late, it'll pop up at that time, obviously, so keep that in mind. And then about the time, you can click on the drop-down arrow and change any of the times. They're in half-hour increments. Or if you want to get more persnickety, let's go ahead and say it'll be 8.01. And then you can go ahead and hit enter to solidify that. Then you have the status. Well, I haven't started it yet. You can click on the drop-down arrow and say it's in progress. little flag there to let you know, well, I'm thinking about it. Whatever in progress means to you. And then completed, well, when I click completed, it's going to mark the progress field at 100%. So completed, 100%, information disappears, as well as the reminder, because, hey, you don't need a reminder if you completed it, right? In any case, let's go ahead and click on the drop-down arrow. We'll talk about this later on, about the different stages and using the mark complete field. In fact, if I just go down even just a little bit that it's not completed, it says it's in progress. But I digress about this part, because we'll cover it later. And then waiting on somebody else, it's still at 75% complete or deferred. In any case, let's go ahead and go back to not started. It clears out the percent complete. And then below that, you have the priority, normal. Click on it. You can go low or high, which you get those same options up here in the tags group. High, if I select high here, it says high to me there. Well, that's fun or low. Updates it there. We'll go to, well, let's do high. And then go ahead and hit the Enter key, and then it updates it here so it's highlighted. Well, let me move out of the way as high importance. You can also mark it as private, as we discussed in earlier training videos, where if you're sharing your, in this case, tasks with other users across the network through the exchange, they won't be able to take a look at the title and find out what tasks you have to complete. It'll just be a block date and a range. They won't even get access to your notes to find out if you do have any notes down below in the field here, which I do, or I will. Let's go ahead and type in some notes. But let me come up here, click on the Format tab. I want to do a list here, so let's click on the numbering, 1, 2, 3, and let's do 
And so what I'm doing is I'm waiting upon Carrie to get me the multimedia for my PowerPoint presentation after she extracts them, the images, video, and audio, so we can have something fun for my presentation, not just text. And then, let's see, up here on the Task tab, over in the Tags group, as you recall in earlier training videos for the other Outlook items, you can categorize them, like this is Ghost Hunt. Select that, updates it with the category Ghost Hunt. And by default, all your tasks are going to be flagged even if you didn't flag them. So when you come up here in the Tags group and click on Follow Up, if you set no date here, you see how it updates here? So even if you don't set it or you get rid of the reminder, when you click on the drop down arrow, it's still flagged as no date. So that will show up in the to-do list and also in the task folder. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. In any case, you can come down here and do a custom which allows you to go ahead and type in a start date and a due date. And the reminder's already been set. So if I come down here and click on it, and I go back to, let's do the 13th, and then it ends the 13th, and I will end it on Saturday, which updates the reminder. So keep an eye on that when you start changing your dates, because I don't want a reminder after the 17th. That's too late. Maybe as a reminder, hey, you didn't get it done. Oh, that's not cool. Let's go ahead and click back and say it's got to be, let's do the 15th. 8.01 a.m., click OK. Well, what I do in that window updates here, and what I do here updates, well, that window if I went to it. So follow-up. Start by Tuesday, March 13th, 2018. Due by Saturday. Reminders, Thursday, March the 15th. Due in four days. And then if everything looks grisly, then just come up here, click on Save and Close, and yay, you just created your first task. Which, by the way, over here in the folder pane, you have a to-do list and a task folder. Now every task you create is going to be listed in the to-do list, as well as in the task folder. As you recall in earlier training videos, you can flag any Outlook item, contacts, email messages for a follow-up. When you do, they'll show here in the to-do list over in the main window. But that's also for tasks, because tasks are to-do list, even though you could set it where you don't want to flag it. But that's the problem with the task is that you can't unflag it even if you set no date. It's still something that needs to be accomplished and that has to be done or a to-do. Now, why is that? Well, one reason is, is that when you want to be able to view everything in one area, the things you have to do, tasks which are to-dos, as well as anything else you flagged to do, like, again, your email messages, you can view it all in one folder as opposed to separately where you don't want to view all those to-do items but just the tasks. And you can see over here, you get additional options that you don't get in the to-do list that's proprietary to the task, where you can actually check it to mark it off. We'll talk about that later. And then you get the exclamation point that's just screaming at you to get it done, or that's muy importante. Let's go ahead and double-click to open it up, and well, you make your changes, then go ahead when you're done, save and close. And you can see over to the right, it is flagged, even if you change it. Or you can come over here and right-click on it and say, well, you see you can't clear the flag. The best you can do is say that there's no date or go ahead and delete it. You can mark it complete, but then that's still part of the flag process. So all your tasks are always going to be flagged and show up in the to-do list along with any other items that are marked to be done or to be completed as a to-do item. So that way you can view it again all in one spot. Now remember, let me come up here and click on the View tab, that in the Layout group you have your to-do bar. Let's go over this really quickly. Click on it and go to Tasks. Pulls it up. Do we have any this week? Of course we do. Collapse that if you don't want to see it, if you got a huge list. And that's today and that's later. So you can go ahead and toggle between the two. So nothing due today, but later. And what you want to see is later. Go ahead and turn down the little triangle there to be able to see what's coming up. So you can view it there as well as we talked about your to-do items, which also includes all your tasks in the calendar. So let's come down here. Click on Calendar, and it's not in the month view, but if we go to the week view, and I come up here and click on the View tab, and then come over here to the Layout group and say Daily Task List, click on the drop-down arrow, and let's make it normal so it pops up. Now remember, it's due by Saturday, so it starts on the 13th. There we go. It's right there. You can go ahead and double-click on it to open it up and make changes, and maybe we can go ahead and say it's due earlier on the 16th. And then go ahead and click Save and Close, and it moves it from Saturday now to Friday as the new due date. Now let's come back up here, click on the Home tab. Again, when you go to the Month view, it's not there. When you come up here, click on the View tab, you don't get the Daily Task List. So it's the other views there, including the day, 
that. There we go, it's down below. And it's due on Friday now, so if I just toggle over a couple of days to get to Friday, there you go. That's what's due. And it's nice here because you can see a little bell. Tinker Bell is going to remind you, ding a ling a ling, with the pop up reminder. And then, of course, the category and then the flag that you can right click and make any changes there as well. Oh, then also, if you're just looking at the flags here, you can tell if you're getting close because for next week and this week, it's the same shade. It gets a slightly darker shade of red for tomorrow. And then if you see red, oh, you're totally in trouble. That's today. Get it done. As you can see up here is a better example. The daily task list, contextual tab, the follow-up group. You see how it goes from a lighter shade to a slightly darker shade to a complete red. There you go. Another way to quickly do a spot check if it's due today, well, if the due date's there, then you're good to go. You don't have to look at the flag and find out if it's an angry red. That's due today. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.